Well, good morning. Welcome to Live with Lynn. So today I am going to get my mom from the hospital and to take her home for hospice. But I wanted to get a quick um, video in because this is a commitment I've made to do this every day and I've had a hard time doing it every day. I'm doing it most of the time, but we're, and we'll get better. But that's really what I wanted to talk about is how blessed I am that, you know, my, my Avon business allows me to be here for my mom. I mean, that to me, that's just amazing because, you know, I started Avon 18 years ago. I, I think most of you heard my story. Um, 18 years ago, I started Avon. I had no intention of doing anything with it. Um, but about a year into it, I realized how what I had in my hands, this amazing business I had. I had a great job. I was director of marketing for a food distributor, and Richard was a store manager for Vons for a grocery store. And we had great jobs. We were making good money, but we were working 60, 70 hours a week, and we couldn't just take time off when we wanted. So when we realized what we had in our hands, we decided to get serious about it and see what would happen. And um, lo and behold, we built an amazing Avon business, right? Well, about um, that was in California. And about six years ago, I moved back to Salt Lake City. Richard and I moved back. Um, I was born and raised in Salt Lake City, moved to California. That's where I met Richard. But we moved back to Salt Lake City because my mom needed me. My mom was getting older and and she just really needed me to be here. And I wanted to be able to spend those last years with her, right? And so it's been great. It's because because I had a home business and because because of my Avon business, I didn't have to quit a job and find another job. I just took my business with me. Um, so we moved to Utah. Um, first off, I, I wasn't easy. I mean, I had a lot of customers in California. I was able to keep them on uh, or some of them I was able to keep on buying online. They would buy from my online store. I did obviously lose a lot of customers that wanted delivery, so I had to give them to other reps. And when I got to Utah, I had to find a whole new customer base. And so it wasn't easy. It was a lot of work, but it still allowed me to transfer my business to Utah and be able to be here. And um, I think that's pretty amazing all by itself, right? A lot of times when you move, you either have to have a job set up or you or you move and who knows how long it will take you to find a job. So that's been really great. And um, and then and so I've been able to be here for my mom for the last six years. I she hasn't been able to drive for quite a while. Um, she got really sick about four years ago and had to have a, a, a permanent catheter put in and and she hasn't been able to drive and for for other reasons. But but so I've been there. And you know what? First off, it's not on me. I want to make that really clear. It's not on me. Um, Richard's been amazing at helping me, but even more so, I have a sister. My sister, Annika, who lives with my mom, is an amazing caregiver, among other things. She's an amazing carpenter. She's amazing. She's amazing at everything she does, but she's also an amazing caregiver. And my sister, Annika, takes care of my mom, mostly. She does all the day-to-day -day taking care of her, what, you know, meeting her needs, her health things, that kind of thing. But my sister works, you know, she works a full-time job. And so I like, I'm, I really am happy that I'm be able to step in and I'm able to do things like manage my mom's care and get her to the doctor's appointments. And, and when my mom's in the hospital, she's been in the hospital a lot the last six weeks, I can be there when my sister has to be at work. So we're a team, right? And, and I love that. But it's just, again, like I said, um, I'm great at managing her care. I'm great at driving. I'm not an amazing caregiver. That's just not me. And I mean, I obviously I do. I do what I need to do and I take care of my mom. Don't get me wrong, but my sister's a natural at it. And so, so my mom's blessed because she has two daughters that care about her. But, but you know, so today, today she's coming home. She's coming home to hospice. Um, she's not dying at the moment, um, but she doesn't want to fight this fight anymore. I mean, she's to the point now where Every time she gets out of the hospital, it's literally two or three days and we're having to call 911 because her, she's dumped again. And by dumped, I mean her vital signs are just crazy. Like, you know, her, her pulse is sky high, her blood pressure plummets, her oxygen needs triple, and she's pretty much comatose. That's what it's been like. So she gets home from the hospital and, and she's fine for a day or two or three and then she dumps again. And um, apparently this is going to be an ongoing process because my mom's just at that point where she's deteriorating. 
And so she's coming home. She's going to be on hospice. I'm a little nervous about that because I'm bringing her home and I'm not sure what that's going to mean. I think that's going to mean that it will take even more of my time to be, because I don't have a full, we don't have a full-time nurse for her. And so um, my sister will be at work. So I imagine that at least while my sister's at work, I'm going to be her caregiver because that's a whole new thing for me. Right. So I'm nervous about it, but you know what? Thank God I have my Avon business. Because I can work my business from my mom's house, and if need be, I can do a lot of it at night because a lot of what I do is, you know, just an example. I mean, I have systems set up in my business where my order's going in tomorrow, my Avon order's going in tomorrow. Well, I had scheduled last week already that yesterday my reminders went out, my text reminders, my phone reminders, my email reminders, they all happened because I set them up ahead of time. And so I have orders coming in, even though... I'm not actively having to call every customer and get an order in and I'm dealing with my mom. I have orders coming in. So I have systems in place, which is amazing. And that's another reason I'm blessed, I guess, that I that I had the foresight to start that. But so now I can go and be with my mom and I can still run my business and still have that money coming in and that income. And and um, I'm, I'm kind of rambling. I'm sorry. But hey, um, that's what I love best about my Avon business. I mean, seriously, how blessed am I that my Avon business allows me to be here for my mom? So thanks for being with me today. I hope that you have a great day, and I will talk to you again probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.